Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Ring World. We are attacking a an outpost in this episode. We are here with most of our colony. Let's get everybody to line up for the attack here. I have no idea how to go about this. Maybe we just throw... Okay, they're coming out. Yeah, it looks like they are coming out. Just like when we get a raid, they, they get a notification, I suppose. Uh, snowball him, her, whatever. Brief flank a little bit, uh, and Morgan. Just go here. Short range on this uh, sling. Go and take cover behind the tree. Got a fireball here. It's uh, raining, so we can throw fireballs without too many issues. Okay, they were not attacking us before, but now they are attacking my colonists. Snowball landed. Very good. Then ice bolt. Uh, just wait here. Coons, you do not have a range weapon. Okay. Uh, do we summon an elemental here? This lady has a bow. You have a pumbata and a bow. Okay. So, are they coming? They should be, yeah. Go here. Adelio, be ready to throw down some spells when they stand still. Yep, here we go. What? Firebolt. Super powerful spell. That hit, that's Pisa here. Yep. And also a really powerful spell, these ice shards. It's all, she's already dying. Adelio is ready with another firebolt. Let's wait for her to stand still. Boom. One shot. Okay. And then this guy is running away, but we can chase him down, I hope. We will throw the spells at him we, that we have. Quest also completed. Uh, gentle location. They are sending in with drop parts. We which is not really <clears throat> good for a fantasy game, but whatever. They are teleporting the resources to us, if you want to roleplay it. Let's loot the stuff. Go and strip you. Strip. And we'll check inside and see what's here. Just claim and deconstruct. We can take the wood back with us. This is technically steel in the sandbag, so... We will say order claim everything here. And then deconstruct all of it. Basically, maybe not the walls. I don't really care about the wood. We have that at home. We also have steel at home, but I mean, we get extra steel for free. Why not? Ah, he's gonna get away. Okay, let him. Uh, snow, come here. Inside we find sleeping spots and a passive cooler. You can construct that. I don't remember what that's made of. Paved tile is technically also steel. Before you go up here and see what you'll find inside. Oh! What is this? Bamboo lumber. Unrefined uranium. Oh! Cotton. Silver, honey root, honey root, 
Dwarven meat. Bone. Cannabis seeds. Limestone blocks. Gold. Archalium. Consisting of steel, jade, silver, and matchesite. Its unique composition gives it mystical properties that increased uh, elasticity and creates reverberations of any magical energy transferred through it. Uh, excellent choice for blunt protection, but a substandard for use in weapons. Okay. Uh, so it's for armor and stuff. Archelum is difficult to create and requires a forge capable of liquefying and combining all ingredients of the alloy. So an arcane forge, which we have not been able to do yet. But here's jade, oak lumber, ice blocks. They will melt, okay. Uh, plasteel thread, okay. Draco logs and neutral flower petals. What is this? Used to make neutral money, I mean, for a medicine base. But it's, it's gonna spoil before we can do anything with it. Pipeweed leaves, okay. Yeah, okay, so we did in fact get some loot. I didn't really want to count on it, but we did. And we're gonna bring as much as we can back with us. Um, anything else? We could hunt some animals if we wanted, but I don't really care. We have plenty of food at home. Oh, we should open this one up here. I don't think anything's in here, but we never know. Okay. And this marble. You know what? Let's uh, bring back the marble as well. And remove floor. floor. Alright, so we salvaged what we can here, then we will say, well, here, reform caravan. But now there's more items to deal with. We will bring the pemmican, bone creed, steel, bone ash, ice. I don't care about the ice blocks. Uh, jade, Calum, of course. Unrefined uranium, yes, please. Hybrid canopy seeds, not the flower petals, honey root, all the blocks. Oh, we cannot carry all of it. Please, sandstone. Okay, there's 228 limestone. Damn. But the other things are more important than the blocks. Okay, then there's lumber. Um, there's some bows. This one's worth 41. They don't weigh all that much. We can bring that. And then, let's see. Wolfskin, loincloth. It's worth money, but no. Bring those to the gold. Silver and a willow passive cooler. No, no. So then we want to fill up with whatever we. I think we'll need blocks more than the lumber. But now it's a little bit slower, the caravan as a whole. It's fine though. Choose route, go home. 1.2 days. And we had enough food for that, so it's fine. Okay, and if tradition holds true... Wait, what? We could go and sell in the city now. 
trader will buy. Can we see what trader will sell? No. But they will buy pretty much anything. So we could sell some of the things that we just acquired. Attack offer gifts. No, we can't trade with them apparently. Okay, just go home. It's fine. Or hide scribing cultist vestments yellow exceptional legendary very cool and a steel helmet dinosaur hide hobbit travelers pack carrying capacity plus 100 sweet and a silver cult chris okay that's fine bring it in So, we kind of need to expand in here. You know, we could make this a storage area for some things. We also need to expand this zone, apparently. I'm looking forward to the colonists coming home. Sebi isn't much entertainment on his own. Oh, oh no. Oh, it crashed. Well, that's the end of the episode then. And I hope we can continue it in the next one and see where the autosave saved us. Nothing for me to do other than that. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next... No, no. Okay, it's... Are we still recording? Interesting. It got through the thing. Okay. And we are meeting a caravan here. Uh, so we're just going to gloss over that and pretend that there was no problem at all. Uh, we can attack these guys. They have 11 Arabic warriors, one Arabic tra trader, and one four Arabic archers. They are neutral to us. But we already have a full caravan. So we probably... I mean, we can just ditch the blocks. We have a whole... All of our mages here. Against... 15 fighters. But we have spellcasters that are immensely powerful. Huh. <laughs> uh, I want to attack them. We have eight colonists in this uh, group. I want to attack them. Yeah. Stupid as it may be. What is this? Titanoboa. Alright, and they are down here. So I think the warriors, surely they don't have ranged weapons, right? So we should be at an advantage in range. In a big way, because we have our mages. Uh, but we also have our pack animals here that we don't want. Can we, like... No, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, we will go, say, Adrithanar. Hide here for now. Lilio Grumps, you are the ice mage. Oh, you! Oh! Right, the mana. So, I know that we have mana potions somewhere here. <sighs> that would have been smart, smart, to assign those to people so that they could drink them now. But we will do without it. Rumps, you cannot... You can throw one ice bolt. Oh, and you're the, you're the one with the ice bolt. The, the really, really, really good spell. So that's unfortunate. Puri, you have your shield up at maximum capacity. And you could cast it on Coons as well. Coons does not have that shield. So you will give it to her. Puri. Stone skin. Coons. Morgan. Hold back here. You can polymorph someone, though that's probably not a good idea. 
Uh, so you shoot at them with your bow. Going to Enchanted Body. It's better for combat. And Death on our Snow. Yeah. Grumps and Dory with Stone Skin Grumps. So it stays on Grumps, even though I wanted it to move. And it, does she go melee? Oh yeah, he, he melees. It's fine. Okay. Are they attacking me? No, they're not. Okay. I see. Morgan, come out. Well, I will probably want to draw them to me. Uh, if they throw a fireball in, in that center of their group, that would be pretty effective. Because it's going to explode multiple times. Points available too. I should have put them into fireball in this uh, instance. Oh, that's all of your mana. Whew, it better land. Uh, clarity for more mana recovery, and then fireball power. Giant spider revenge. But yeah, that was that was pretty powerful. Okay, and then run back. They're attacking each other, or they're attacking that spider. They are not coming to engage me. And some of them, I'm sure, is bleeding to death at this point. Yeah, death in 10 hours, so we are not in a hurry. It's raining, so it's going to turn off the fireball. Let's just advance and take cover behind stuff. So Medelia, that was you with a fireball, you have a bow as your secondary, and that's what you're good at as well. Cargo parts. <laughs> with ice blocks. We can't have ice blocks because they melt. So it's really redundant. Okay, so far so good. We have taken no casualties and taken out the spider. Was that my spider? No. I hope not. Okay, advance more. Uh, we have the sentinel here and the earthen hammer. Right. That's pretty effective. We can advance up to this point here, maybe. Grumps is the other one. Berengil can sit back here. Snow here. Oh, here they come. Uh, you want to be ready to summon your elemental. She's now firing on us. Yeah. And we are not returning fire at the moment. Because we are out of range. So advance a little bit more with you, Morgan. Are you coming forward? No. Nope. Okay, we can do one ice bolt. Save it for a good occasion. Like here is a pretty good spot actually. Summon explosive defense pylon. Let's do that. Coons up here. And if it's some grumps have gained a increased understanding of magic, let's just use that right away. It's just three points available. Why don't I use those things before engaging in combat? That's the real question. Soothe efficiency goes to three immediately. That was a mistake. Okay, and now we clicked once here, and I don't know what happened. 
It used all his points. Okay. Morgan. You can... Improve your... Enchant body. Power and enchant aura. It reduces cost. And reduces mana regeneration penalty. We increase the effect of the enchanted body first. Medelial, you are just gonna be shooting. Grumps, you are our, one of our melee fighters, right? So you're in a good position here. Don't worry, melee fighter, but you should put up a sentinel, I think. How much is that? 20 mana only. Yeah, for sure. Morgan, coming up. So you're here, Pelengil, you are casting a spell, that's good. Edrithianar, you need to advance a little bit more somewhere to get in range. Maybe just go here. Uh, Pelengil has increased your magic skills, very good. Increase the power of the elementals, now it's at level 3, and we can throw one down right now. Of course we will. Put it here. Now we have a defense pile here that's attacking. And now we, sh now we should get 3 elementals, and these are earth elementals. So yeah, oh, Pelengil got hit. Run away, oh no. Snow is also hit. No immediate danger. No immediate danger, okay. But I wanna throw them out, cause they don't, yeah, they aren't worth keeping in the fight how, with how weak they are. Have we spent all of our mana on all of our Combat mages at that point. We have you here. You can do the earth and hammer thing. Uh, we want to do that on top of more of them. How much mana? 40 mana. So that's one cast. You could theoretically cast on. You should cast on Grumps. He does not have an enchanted weapon. So, Morgan, enchant Grumps' weapon if you can. Okay, we are killing them. Oof, okay. Uh, now they have bun Clumping up, so Dory, can you hit this with the earthen hammer? Like here-ish? Oh, and that hits a much larger area than I thought it would, but that's fine. Worked out. There's still a lot of them. Uh, well, who's the one with the elementals and stuff here? Defense pile, and how many can we have in play? Improve pylons, increase range and power. Durable pylons. Uh, but as long as we have one, it's fine. The elementals are going ham. They are powerful. Caravan battle one. So, you can reform the carrier now on the world screen by selecting the battlefield and choosing the form. There's no need to collect items manually. The reform caravan tool can do it instantly. In one day, the carrier will be reformed automatically. Okay. So, we won. And no one is bleeding out or anything. No. So we should be fine to travel, but we could set up
like a bedroll. Oh. Okay, let's let them kill the remaining fighters. We aren't even doing anything, it's our spells basically. Okay. Reform the caravan. And it should include all the things. That's what it said. So there's some berries. No. These are the new things. Civil meal, dirt. Yeah. Uh, crude smoke leaf joints. Five, okay. Slake chunk, rat chunk, then all the dead bodies. Then we have meat. And we will have to give up. Let's just give up all the limestone blocks for now, and then we can bring basically anything. So, anything that's worth money. worth some money at least uh, it's getting more expensive down here so we'll take that even more expensive very good oh very nice goblin bow nah recurve bow good sure black palm short bow of infinity <laughs> what a simple short self bow made of a single piece of wood. I. There must be a, mis a spelling mistake in that. Steel Hoberg of Labor? Uh, poor and it's damaged, but this one is worth bringing. Dark leather clean coat of plates. Norm. A rest with armor plates inserted on the chest and back protects against projectiles. Okay. Okay. We'll take those. Cloth open salad helmet. Of cloth? <laughs> then one of wool. Like helmet is maybe stretching it a bit if it's made of cloth, but whatever. And more silver. Okay, they didn't have all that much. And then we will bring limestone blocks for the rest. Accept and keep going. They should, yeah, they are on their way. Resting using zero bed rolls. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. Oh, using eight bed, bed rolls now. Okay, good. And Seppi, how are you doing? He's just sleeping. So, this has been a really, really successful mission or quest. Uh, yeah, out into the world. We have both made friends with a faction, then we attacked a raiding faction and looted their raiding stash, and then we met a caravan and raided them, became the raiders ourselves, and made hostiles with other people. At more cargo parts, they throw down wooden boots. Okay, with wooden soles and wooden plates strapped on. Okay, so they are made of leather, technically. Yeah, a pair of leather boots with wooden soles, okay. So actually, in my mind, the whole thing was wood, which sounds really damn uncomfortable. But it is made of leather. I want to reinstall the, this thing up here. Monkey. Oh, and ah, they've started using this area again. That's fine because we've got everything else filled up. Oh, is our Earth Sprite finally gone? I think it must have mined itself into a corner. So Puri will have to set up a new Earth Spirit when he comes back. 
Yep. Speed it along until they get home. Sebi is up and doing work. You even put on some new clothes. What's this? Gore High Scribing Cultist Vestment. Okay, so he liked that one. Okay. It looks very fancy now. And what are you going to grab down here? The boots. Oh. They're good enough to wear, apparently. And they give more movement speed than these, so that's fine. Actually, kind of a good uh, drop pod. Just in my mind, wooden shoes. I would never build them myself. Because they sound really uncomfortable. But apparently they are good. Oh, spider silk up here. So we ran out of spiders then. We can never impregnate our spider. Because there are no male spiders left on the map. That's fine, we will have to not grow something else, but farm something else. Raise cabin bearers, for example. Ah, oh, the lockjaw rotted. Unfortunate. This one needs to allow rotten, and it does. Do, 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 do. So, how is our caravan doing? They must be close. No, they're not. Okay. Well, they're coming in. I think it might be one more day then. Estimated arrival 2.4 days. So, maybe in the evening sometime? I think this whole expedition has been worth it. I'm gonna tell myself that. Smoke leaf plant died from rot rotting. I see, smoke leaf plant. Oh, but not. Huh. But every one, every one of them is here, so it's not here. Must be... I don't know. Oh, these, these inside, of course, are not growing fast enough. That's the thing. Because they don't get enough light. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Potted plants doesn't really work. Install it under the window, maybe it'll last longer. Firekeep is no longer... Or Sevi is no longer incapable of working. Auto-saving? Oh! Caravan arrived at the Philosopher's Field. Hey, And no one died? Oh, here's another dwarf. Dead outside my colony. They're never gonna go away. D4. Name. <laughs> but how fun would it be if they just they spiked a random wharf on this uh, spike outside my colony? Would have been fun if that was Tori's father. Now, how do we make them unload the stuff? Because I noticed that last time they didn't do that. And this, we really don't have space for it at all, so maybe it's fine. But yeah. Where you go and set up a new Earth Sprite for me. Start it here. And then do whatever. Pelling Guild, do you have enough mana for minions? Yes. And then 
increased your understanding of magic. Very good. Summon Poppy. They all have this master uh, spell that you can unlock, but they need a master scroll, I suppose. Huh. Sounds cool, though. And then let's go for improved pylons. The pylons are cool. I want to draw more use out of those. The honey in here, I don't know what to do with that. We'll leave it be for now. And then I think we are at a point where I should end the episode again. So we managed to squeeze in that expedition in two episodes time. And now we are back on track. We will, I will plan out this building work up here and figure out how we we're going we're gonna to do it. But that'll be in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching for now and see you then. Bye bye.